Anyone who has ever been to a Singaporean karaoke lounge has definitely come across more than several Michael Learns to Rock songs. And even if you aren't a fan, you would definitely know how to hum along to at least one of those songs. We asked the band how they feel about being big in the karaoke lounges. Great. Great. Wow, it's Great. wonderful coming into a karaoke bar. And there are 20 of your songs exactly. on the machine there. It's great. Also, when we play live, a lot of people sing along. Yeah. If you have to forget his lyrics, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and he does. <laughs> Actually, then I just can I just pretend that, uh, you know, that it was... Uh, Part of the yeah. Oh, yeah. How much do you think you guys uh, get from royalties just on karaoke alone? <laughs> I have a lot. No? Have no numbers? Minus, uh, <laughs> minus 10 million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which do you think is, is the biggest karaoke song? Pay My Love. Pay My Love. 25 minutes. Sleeping time. I would say t I would say 25 minutes though I don't know. Okay, let's bring it back to the concert that was uh, supposed to happen in, in Malaysia, and you guys had like bad publicity because the youth arm of Pan Malaysian and Malaysian Islamic Party actually said your concert was immoral and insult to to Muslims uh, having a fasting month right now. Well, how do you guys feel about that? We have, of course a little. Uh, uh, we, we think it's a shame because we don't have any bad feelings towards anybody. Mm -hmm. We respect all. All uh, religions, and uh, as long as we don't force people to come or to listen to our music, we think it should be possible to to, to play the concerts anyway. Because I mean, it's, it's people can come if they want and they can yep. stay away if they want. To. Do you think it was an overreaction, though? We, I mean, we we don't think very much of that. Yeah. We are here and we are here to play music and. Uh, Politics is politics. That's true. How, how often have you guys played in Malaysia though? How many times in Malaysia have you guys played? Many times. Many times? Yeah, yeah. We sold uh, one million albums uh, officially in Malaysia alone. Yeah. The first concert we ever played as a band outside uh, Denmark was in, in Malaysia. In exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last time you guys were in Singapore was 2004. Um, what, what do you remember most about Singapore? <laughs> that, that, that particular event was sponsored by Tiger Beer. <laughs> oh, so you remember the beer? We can't remember. No? No, actually, <laughs> what I remember from Singapore is is we played here several times. Yes. And we had a wonderful audience here. I s still remember very, very well the, the way they, they are listening to the music. You can see in their eyes that they're focused on the music and they like just being there and singing along. Uh, it has always been like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's my best memory, actually. Most Singaporeans, or most Asians, haven't been to, to Denmark. If you guys could um, share with us a Danish icon that represents the band, so we can sort of associate oh. that then they should Danish go icon. To, to, um, to, uh, there's something called the Slaughterhouse. <laughs> it's it's uh, the place where we rehearsed our first rehearsal okay. as a band. The first time we met as a band, we were... Uh, well, uh, yeah, we were rehearsing there. But anything, anything to do with Denmark itself, like maybe yeah, a food or a the, the, uh, the Little Mermaid, actually. <laughs> Copenhagen, yeah. The Little Mermaid. Okay, the Little Mermaid. It's a little uh, statue that uh, uh, is a figure from the fairy tale of A.C. Anderson. That's right. And it's, it's in a harbor, and you can go and see this. Well, actually, it's in China right now, isn't it? <laughs> it is? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's been moved to China, yeah, so... Okay, one last question, guys. Uh, you guys uh, covered Jackie Chung's "Take Me to Your Heart." You know, you made a, your own rendition. rendition. Um, are you thinking of doing any any more Asian collaborations or remakes? We are open to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's very exciting. To try to work with other people or make other people's music, but we don't have any exact plans at the moment. So, okay. Let's see what comes up. Fair enough, guys. Thanks so much for joining me on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you dare go away, up next we have the band performing two of their hits acoustically in the heart of town. <laughs> 